Hi. Yo ho. She was, you know, fixing things and Washing cleaning things. Up brushes. I don't have any jewelry on today. I only have one little piece on. I didn't wear earrings or anything. I don't have rings, bracelets, necklace, nothing. We'll just call this we're almost naked. <laughs> Getting down to the just have know? to have to focus on my natural beauty. You're, you're putting that in the wrong... Okay. Hello, everyone. It fits in there for or, one Or should minute. I do that? Hello, hello, everyone. That one's better. That's more me. I like to do the double hello. Thank you for showing up on a Sunday. We very much appreciate it. We'll get down to some arty fun here in just a moment. You know, we got our little intro thing that we got to do. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, we are PM Artist Studio. So, do and say I hello with my it. hearing back, so. Yeah. At least in one ear. Yeah. You know, hey. Yeah. We're happy. Uh, do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, we do not know that you're here. We like to know that you're here because we are a very friendly bunch. These lovely arty friends here in the chat, a lot of them are regulars. And they are regularly awesome and very kind. Uh, if there's inappropriateness, that's also, you know, we, we, we are okay with that. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't offend. Uh, anyway, so let's say hello to everyone. And then we'll do a little announcement business. And then we'll get on to a little show and tell from P. Yeah, I think I might actually work on this one today. Okay. And then um, whatever kind of, hopefully, because she said she doesn't have like a full time, but who knows? You know how that goes. That's fine. E either way, I don't really mind. Um, and then I can do my um, Maker's Creative Collab Swap and Make that I have going on with Carrie's stuff that he sent me. And I think... Tomorrow, he will be posting his stuff after the stream. So, lots of fun things. And your taxes are due tomorrow if you're in the U.S. So, there's that, too. Hello, Ann, Laura, Anina, Becky, Betsy, Betty, Carol, Carrie, Charmaine, Darcy, Dana, Devin. That's Yolande. Elizabeth, Alice. Hello, Alice. Uh, Elizabeth Volcomer. Uh, let's see who just almost popped in there. Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Sneaking in at the last minute there. Like that. Erna, Estella, Gerald, Griffin Shell. That's Rhonda. Jennifer, Car uh, Carla, Lee Nelson, Lori, Marguerite, Marta, Mary Ellen, Maya, Paula, Penka, Ruth, S A G. That's Sarah, Sandy, Franklin, Star Traveler, that's Linda, Susan Billu, Suzanne Rivard, SWL, that's Sherry, The Shelley Studio, that's Margle, Tina Schwanberg, Veronica Johnson, Janssen, it's probably Janssen, or is it Jansen? Uh, Let me know. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, Daniela popped in there. Uh, do give me those pinky hello hands. If I missed you, it was not on purpose, it is simply, it, when the list kind of moves, it's, it's, I don't, I know I miss people and I, I do not do that on purpose. So give me the pinky hello hand. All right. So announcements would be that, hey, if you are participating in the Makers Creative Club, that is Flip Fly Flora Fauna. See, it takes me a couple weeks, but then I'm on it. <laughs> Even though I helped write the list. <laughs> you know, there you go, folks. Sometimes I write it and then it goes away and then, you know, the brain stuff so if you're participating in that and you are a content creator and you have swapped with somebody or just not and you've done some things you need to let me know like send me an email or a private message and say hey here's my video and i'll make sure that it ends up on the playlist because i feel like i'm missing things because i just haven't been online as much because we are doing this whole overhaul overhaul of isabella's bedroom which n then necessitates that you move along and you have to do some other things because... Oh, one thing leads to another. I totally... Oh, but I got my fireplace back. <laughs> some people didn't even know we had one. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh was over yesterday, and, and Caleb's been coming over now, or this was his first day. Um, she's leaning in on me, so she, her head looks massive. There we go. Um, That's my manual zoom. Uh, we need, we need, we need. I need, I need, you know, like in, in the football games, you know, they have those cameras that are on the wires and stuff. I need that. To, to, I, we need a whole, whole grid on the ceiling that we can just fantastic. add stuff to. Um, Adam Savage has a wonderful ceiling <laughs> at 
sandwich. It's just gonna be Raja and Adam sandwich. I, I, I love I, it. I, I love he's it. He's got this clinky. Chip. I really didn't know if you were gonna enjoy all of that, but yeah, the lock line. Oh, oh yeah. of course mm-hmm. I do. Hi, Quirky Queens. I can I can admire That's people's organization. I just don't know. Necessarily... Hi, Barbara. You know, I, mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I was yammering, yammering about. Okay, Makers Creative Club. Anyway, y'all need to let me know if there is one. Um, oh, Monday is a, a, oh, it's Patriots Day. So we get an extent, so one more day. So taxes are due Tuesday, I guess. Oh. See, I always just thought April 15th. Ours were in like, wait. I love our CPA this year. He even said, hey, I'm ready. And we're like, oh, cool. So we just send it. And I love that. And it. It's worth every every penny. Because I can't tell you the years that Brad and I have done them together. It, it's, um, whew, like there needs to be therapy that comes along with that. Because <laughs> it's stressful. Because there's a lot of questions that I don't know the answers to. <laughs> and I don't like that feeling. But nowadays, we, we, we got a system. There's, I love it. I love it. Anyway, all right. So, uh, Creative Club, uh, Swap Partners, you should already know about that. That's over there in the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. We have a new vanity. Like, if you go to FB groups or whatever it is. Uh, actually, one of y'all, if you hashtag the thing, I already updated it over there in Nightbot. So, I'm on top of things, y'all. And I'm, I'm feeling the high of cleaning. <clears throat> you see this? This is, this is Mariah, like, claiming back some of her house. And I'm excited that Izzy is going to get her room which she's also very excited about and she has allowed me some of you know decision making which is amazing in itself because it was really hard like I want her to want things that I think will number one um I don't want her to like outgrow this stuff really quickly there's a lot of emotional um yes Anyway, you know, message me if you want to chit chat about my baby and whatnot. Anyway, <laughs> some people are probably like, "Jeez, move along." All right, do you want me to go to top side, or are you talking to the camera, or what's going on? Um, top yeah, side. Yeah, I, I, you can go top side. Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust There's your camera. There's a tiny again, little probably. piece that I might need that. The nice thing about working on pouches is you can just stuff those kind of things in there because that's what it's for. It's a keeper. It, it, it's, it's, it's a keeper, keeper of the, the project thing. Keeper of the project thing. Well, I'm really upset about this little washer because the back side of it matches my uh, attached flowers a lot better than the front side. But, you know, I, it's okay. It doesn't have to be FB. Just, you know. Well, why is it the back side? Because it has oh. our name on it. Oh. We signed it. Well, you could show that side. I could show that side. Like, are you gluing it down, or is it going to dangle? No, it's going to dangle, and, and I'm going to take it apart here and show you. I, it's really quite brilliant on my part, I think. <laughs> doot, doot. <laughs> doot, doot. <laughs> Take my horn. Take my horn. By golly, sometimes if you don't toot your own horn. Who's going to do it? There's no music. All right, so I've got these washers. Let me just get those out. I just happen to know where those are. And the I, I was like, why am I not seeing anything? My door was not hey, closed. What? Hi, Bruja. Uh, well, I was like, why is chat not moving? It's because I had it, I scrolled up and then I didn't scroll back down. Okay. Oh, federal returns are due Monday, April 15th. That's what Darcy says. Now, that one actually goes better than this one. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I know what it was. It was before. Oh, yeah, we don't have state. Mm-mm. We don't, what? Well, I mean, not like state, state. We have sales tax. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, we don't do the state thing. True okay, that. so I'm just looking at this and you know, since I kind of Hi, Belinda. Hi, Trisha. put these other flowers on here. Hi, Anthony. I've got a whole different um, Hi, Trisha. life view. Kind of like that. Right? Can you hold those up? Let, let me just say that these washers, we did we do those during a stream? I think there was a couple streams. Like, it was a big deal. Uh, I don't remember. Never, never probably to be remade. I mean, I don't say never, because sometimes we do go back and do some things. Well, we can't because these were... Um, right, but we we have new techniques. We They just wouldn't quite be like this. Yeah, we gave a bunch of them away. We did. 
seems like the light's very bright. That's a nice one. There we go. That's a little better. And I can't, did you, did we glue something to the back? We did. Well, that wasn't me. In per, yeah, in particular, it was me. <laughs> uh, that, I was going to say the ed, edges are all meeting up, so pretty much how I... I so, can, they are washers, <laughs> like, you know, from the hardware store. Yeah. And, and then you can alcohol ink on them because it's metal. And then if you put the dimensional Mod Podge on the top of it, you get this kind of situation, which is a lot of fun, but a very intensive, like, multiple step kind of situation. Yes. And it really is best to do multiples at a time because you're going to be like, oh, I want more of these, but by God, that was a lot of work <laughs> to get. So it's best to multiple. I know, and, you know. and here's here's the thing. These are, these are, these are the leftovers. These are the culls. No, no, it's that Mod Pod, Mod, Mod, here, show them. Yeah. All of this stuff. For this, it's re it works out really well because it, it does hold enough of a dimension. It isn't like, you know, crazy. But it settles out nicely and there usually aren't crazy bubbles or anything like that. Yeah. I think you would be able to do the heat and boss kind of situation, but, um, I mean, that might speed up the process for sure. Here's my worry about that because it hardens. And therefore, it would and chip. I, I, I think because we had a little bit of that occurring with the alcohol ink chipping off. Yeah, well, that's why we, we needed to seal it. Before we got to the mm -hmm. actual sealing process. But, um, yeah, this is great stuff. If you don't have this, you need some. Yeah. I, I, I like it. The only problem is, is it takes... It, it, a good while to dry. Yeah, like overnight. You don't need to be looking at it, touching it. You just, you, you put it on and you put yeah. it away and you don't look at it for at least 24 hours. Although, actually, you do probably need to check on it because it does ooze off and you might need to move it around so it doesn't stick. But that's it. <laughs> well, I think that one right there is is my best choice. This one has some Ooh, I love that. Yeah, plus it's, I think, funky size. pink stuff around the edge. Now, I do like this except for that one little pinky spot there. Well, you could probably remedy that with a little alcohol ink marker on the top of it. If you, no, I could. You want me to do but that? I, no, I like this one. I like the size of the other bigger ones, personally. Like, Th they fit one. the the project a bit better. Well, it makes makes for, um, and I was looking for... Size know, matters, y'all. Um, a proper stick to do this with, because I've been watching... I've been watching Japanese uh, period piece soap operas. I mean, you know, I, I just I get stuck on something and it's just hard for me to give it up and go on. Um, the reason I kind of like the smaller one is because I can pull it through there and it stays. Whereas this, now I can go with a different, whole different plan here. I don't want, I'm, I'm not going to crochet this. I want it to just be like this. Because number one, I think it's quite beautiful. And it's sewn together mm -hmm. so that it. Um, that was sent to us by Dana, right? It was in the cute little box. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I have the cute little box over here. Okay, so. If y'all hear, hear if, do, if you're hearing yelling in the background, Brad's just playing his video game. I just don't want people to be like. The only I think thing somebody's getting about tortured doing in the it back. Like this is you have to determine the length that you want your. Uh, I don't want to attach the washer to the actual mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I want it to be. I want it to be loose. Gotcha. But I want enough here that I can bow tie it rather than mm -hmm. not tie it. Yeah. Yeah. K N O T, not not not. <laughs> yeah. Not a not. <laughs> Get my string going the right way. Uh. Call of Duty, I think. That's his. Okay, that gives it enough for a, a does, good. A does good your little, husband play? Well, my, <laughs> a little tiny bit more because I've got to go around the washer.
but see how it's sewn together to little pieces? Oh. I think that's so cool. That is cool. I do have some stringy things that I'm probably going to cut off because they're annoying as hell. Need a little trim trim. Trim trim. Mm-hmm. Oh. The washer in and of itself. And you <laughs> don't... And, and see, this is really... It's that was nice. kind of presumptuous of me, wasn't it? What? Rhonda plays video games. She plays Minecraft. Well, maybe you could hook up with Izzy because she really wants to play that, but we won't let her play it yet. I feel like she needs to be able to, you know, read and also understand if people are predatory or whatever. It's a lot of concerns. A lot. Okay, so that's going to hang down there like that. This is going to come around here. Goes through that way. And then this goes through. Yes. Oh, good call, Sherry. That was a very good... What? Anthony, you need to read um, Sherry's, uh, SWL's comment. Don't bring that under. <laughs> Why are you worried about this kind of thing right now? I'm, you're not going to remember this. I'm not going to remember it? I don't think so. Okay, well, let's, let's just... Um, yeah. Okay. You do the bottom one first. Mm -hmm. It works a little better. Never to be repeated. You might have to watch this video back and then you could. Voila. Did y'all get that? Remember, this channel is not about how to teach you exactly how to do something. It's, it's more about you inspiration. Muddle, muddle about and figure it out. It's about inspiration and that this was an option. And okay. if you want to learn how to do it, you're going to have to watch this on repeat. <laughs> All right. I learned how to do this because this is how I do my um, coin beads. Uh -huh. You go in one way, and then you come up the other way. Then you cross them over. All right? Yes. But I attached it with just, you know, a, a, just like... Come a, at it from both directions, then tie it at the... below. Yes, tie it. Just tie it. I understand. Yeah. And the nice thing about this is, is it gives you... You don't have to worry about... Um, putting pressure on your yeah when you pull it because I've actually pulled mine through through and I, I don't like that also this gives you the option of if this becomes too fat you can change your string out but you just have that nice little little uh remember I said you go through the underneath one first mm -hmm. just makes it a lot easier than you know Yeah, pretty much, Carla. What? She says that uh, the grandson is a gamer. He screams and carries on. I'm afraid the neighbors will call the cops. <laughs> yeah, that's about how it goes around here. But you just got it. You've come in, got it coming in from both. Yes. Different sides. But isn't that lovely? Now I want to talk. Okay, now that we've figured out the fastener, you know, I always like to approach things logically and sequentially. I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. Okay. But it's good just in case somebody's new and they didn't understand that that's what was happening. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think these are kind of cool and I think you could even wear them as like... Oh, yeah. Necklaces. I, I, I'm I very proud of those. I think they're very, very cool. Okay. So, here's my finished product here. That was, that's was just paper sticking out. I've already got stuff in there. <laughs> What I did here, and I, I want you to know this was really quite an accomplishment, and it did take a bit of while to do, simply because you have to wait for it to dry. Because if you're taking a piece and you're going around, which I did, it all matches up. Now, I did have to do a bit of piecing here because Mariah said it didn't come out in the same place. And I ended up, you know, it wasn't a big deal because I put this flower over it. Right. That was an afterthought anyway. But I, I'm glad I did it. Yeah. As it, it feels more complete. But look at this. Here's the back side. 
and then oh i didn't even oh look at you didn't notice that i hadn't well I'm done. I'm very proud of Well that. done, Patricia. I, I, I mean, I'm... I, and, and it... <laughs> it was a little bit of like, oh, God. <laughs> okay, so you can see here, here this one goes across here. Yeah. And then it goes around, and then it flips over and goes here. And then this one here goes all hooked up over here. And I think it's just really, I, I think it's swell and elegant, and I, I, I very much like it. And I, I'm very happy to have this, this um, ribbon, because I think it's absolutely perfect. And I like that it's not exactly, it doesn't match exactly. Well, yeah, because if it did, then it would just be camouflaged in there. It would be. Now, the other thing you could do is... I think a purple one would have been really nice. Oh. Just, you know, if you wanted a, something a little more co higher contrast, but still a nod to some, you know, colors that are found in there. I don't know that that's the, it. You really need more like a purpley brown. Almost that mulberry. That's... Well, and see, that's the one I originally had was this one. Yeah. So there. That Yeah. If you wanted that more contrast yeah. to show up versus like... Just some things to think about. Hi, cat. Hi, Mimi. Okay. Well, it would be <laughs> it would be a beautiful purse. Cat says. Thank you. I do think it's quite. Hey, you could take it to the bar. I'm pretty sure that it's waterproof at this point with that of paint and whatnot. <laughs> that was always my thing about you know certain purses because if you set them up on the counter and some person spills something. Because that happens in those situations. You want to have a purse that can handle it. Yeah. A bit of dampness. Alrighty. Now, I might leave those out because we might do some... I do have the little box with the other things in it over here. Mm -hmm. um. Hello, Gina. Oh, yes. Uh, so, Gina says that she's watched a great video with Eddie Makes Art. She must try gel printing again. <laughs> He's doing some good things over there. Was it the flower one or what was the one before that? I think it was the abstract art one before that. Yeah. Okay, I might pull this one out. Oh, Silver Granny Highland says that you could layer two washers a large one and a small one. I, I, then when do the I was do, when I was looking at those, I was thinking the same thing. Great minds, but I didn't want to hassle with that right now because I, I think everybody's kind of done. With you got, that. <laughs> and we got some things to look at here, folks. Other things. <laughs> okay, look at this print. Is this not just gorgeous? Okay, yeah. Hold, dip, perfect, and up a little bit. Look at that. It has texture to it. This is done from my stamping here. Okay, this was my, this was my play. This was my palette paint and then I stamped onto here. Didn't Hi, like Veronica. the color so I came back in and went over it with another Hi, Veronica. and ended up not using this, but it's not to say I can't. I've got the raw materials. Here. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have this print. You all remember that it was done on my I didn't like the way it looked, and it was too dark, and I wasn't able to get a print, so I oh, used the back side. this is a fabulous idea. Alice says, I would use these pouches for reusable gift wrap bags. That would be a very special present. Oh, it would. I got goosebumps on that one. If I received a present in a pouch like that, I would feel mighty special. I'm just letting you know. This is very true. In case anybody ever wanted to make a pouch for somebody that has a birthday coming up in October. It's also Mother's Day. Yes, Mother's Day. <laughs> Mother's Day in May, right? Mother's Day in May. <laughs> I don't know exactly what day, but all of the um, the e-commerce the e websites have started letting me know. <laughs> this is okay, so anyhow, I'm just letting you know. If one side of your tissue isn't working out, go ahead and stamp the other side. Yeah, might be the best thing ever. 
might be the best thing ever. So. Uh, Rhonda would not give up the pouch. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh Here is another version <laughs> of a pouch with an asymmetrical I pouch. love the asymmetrical and, and the reason I did it wasn't because of aesthetics. It was uh -huh. because that... I didn't have one that fit the other way. This was the only one, only piece I had left that um, I'd already gessoed. <laughs> right. And I was going to just make it a, kind of a, a, a no, sorry, little I half flow over. And then I got to moving this it. around. Well, I went ahead and printed the whole thing. Yeah. And then I thought, which I was, was smart. That, that looking was... at it, I was like, well, you know, I can use that if I just turn it on its yeah. points. And then look at this. Okay, I'm still not happy. The blues aren't matching up. They are not. Uh, it. it I didn't want to. Not making me happy. I didn't want to point it out, but then I'm like, I kind of have to point it out. I kind of had to point it out myself. I tried to get them, but here's what happens when I. Th <sighs> this is what they look like. Mm-hmm. But you glue them down on top of yellow, guess what? Well, so really what that tells you is at the top you need to add some yellow. Well, I like do, as but a I wash. just love the top. I love this color. Okay, here's another thought. So do you have more of those, of the, the stem leaf things? Yeah, right here. Okay, fantastic. So what you need to do is come in from the back side of those and put a very light yellow wash and then glue some of them coming from the top, like bending over, you know, Either I would I would actually do them sort of at an angle so it follows that swoop, but then you could put those on and then it's gonna um, it's gonna have that. Well, we can certainly try that because right now I'm I'm feeling like because it's not like the whole thing has to matchy match, but you need no. something at the top that brings in that particular color. Or the other thing I was thinking is I need something like this up here. To distract from to the distract large. distract from the. Yeah. And I think if I did it on tissue paper, it's going to come through. Hopefully. I don't know. You don't know that. Yeah. So you know, Devin says you could use like a pink wash over the bottom half, maybe. Um, I don't know that. Because you've got two factors at that point to sort of deal with. And it's only going to make them darker. It's, it's just going to muddy it out. So now, it, that could be that could be a solution because here's the thing: if you look at this side and you think about just going over this whole thing with a really dark blue, it's going to go into this right here. Oh, this I think that I like that idea the best. And then I can deal with both sides and have them all kind of feel like you know they're coming together. I like that. Well, you know, we don't have anything to lose there. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got that. And Hello, just, April. You know, I'm, I'm just, I really want to use this. I do have this one too. Hi, Dawn. I don't know. Hi, I've Isabel. got options. Yes. But I've got all of this paper here. Okay. I'm just. Gonna... Oh, and then uh, Paula and Eddie both said something gold. And then I think Rhonda said something gold too. Emboss something in yellow or gold at the top. Um, I've got all that gold paper back over here, which I did use some of it. But very, I, I like this very... whole trying to bring things around to the more bluey end of things. Yeah, because we know the bluey end of things is going to yeah, it's going to take away the yellow. And I don't, I don't have, I don't have a vested interest in the yellow. Ain't got no skin in that game. Yeah. Don't care. Well, happy upcoming birthday, April. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I've been playing around. Mariah found this paper. We don't know really what it is, but it's great paper. <laughs> and I've been mussing about with that. Yeah, I found this in, in the archaeological but dig of the closet. It's very clothy-like. And I have crunkled it up and, and you know. I think we were keeping Because, so, the closet, Izzy's closet used to be the... Um, like gift wrapping center, yeah. and yeah, and things that and, and, and P would try to stuff fa away fancy things on packages, kind of thing. Yes, bows and such. Anyway, found that stuff in all that mix. So I'm I'm pretty excited about because I think it's going to um, decoupage quite nicely. I, I I really wanted to stop everything and just start another thing, and I've made myself <laughs> stop. 
You're getting, look at yeah. that. I mean, she's really maturing. I'm <laughs> trying to stay on task and get something actually done. That's, you know. right. All right, so we're going to keep the, this all together. We know that that mm -hmm. is going to be a project. All right, I just wanted to share with you. And you'll yes. see what I mean here in a minute. Okay, I just keep pulling this out and looking at it. I love this so much, just like it is. Uh -huh. I just, and here's the thing. There's really, with the overlapping here, and this is what, what you want to keep in mind. If you're making flowers to tear or cut out, don't overlap. Yeah. It never works out well. Because then you have a lovely piece of paper that you do not want to mm. do anything with. And I've got those other lovely pieces of paper. <laughs> Just to not digest. I like that. So Devin was saying that she, uh, her, her concern with the making of the one pouchy with the blue would be that it goes green. And that is the, the yeah. yellow areas. I don't think that that's so bad because really you're cooling out everything. Because I think that yellow also really just screams at you. And it's that, and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use sort of a purpley blue. Anyway. Okay. So I think that that's going to, I think it's going to be And okay. that will actually calm down the yellow, not bringing it into the, you know, blue Well, I blue, think it's going push. to bring it yeah. into that range of the, um kind of dark tealy blue. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm thinking that. Okay, the same thing with these. Oh, Carrie Griffith says that if he had that piece, he would make a journal or a notebook cover from that print. From what print? That one that you just showed a minute ago. Oh, the, um, the, the blue. That's one? a very Carrie Griffith stylish, you know, like. Like this. This no. one? The one you just showed that you kept because you liked it just the way that it is. That's that the one. one. I know. I, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Because mm -hmm. I don't think it needs to be cut up. Yeah. And I think it's the same with these two. I don't think they need to be cut up. I think they need to remain. Hi, Phyllis. They need to remain as is. Yes. Okay. I'm glad we all agree on that. Y'all are being very agreeable today. <laughs> okay, I don't need to talk about any of that. All right, so here's the one. Here's here's the big llama. Yes, it has a very kimono feel to it. It yes. Now I don't know uh, this. This one hasn't spoken to me about it, how it feels quite yet. But anyway, so I had a great time. This is the big one. I had a great time. I'm going to show you the other side and you'll be able to. Remember, there was much discussion on how to actually get it printed. Well, she figured out some things. Isn't that fun? Now, look at these little guys. Okay, let me tell you how I did that. This is a really cool, like, y'all get out the notebook. Because this is some good information. It is, it's very cool. So, this was, this was my paint pad. My palette for my paint, right? And, and I, I didn't worry about it because I'd used it for the blue also. And it, What she's I, saying is that was a gel plate. A 5x7 gel plate that she used as her paint pad. Um, yeah, here it is. <laughs> some still on there. <laughs> Imagine that. And there was some still on there from some other um, things. Thing. <laughs> and eventually when I pull this, I think it's going to be quite remarkable. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Lovely grunginess. Pull it with some red. Yeah, I think that's going to be lovely. But look at this print. Isn't it interesting? Yes. I mean, I, I was totally blown away by how cool this looks. And it, I wish you could feel it because it's very soft. I've noticed that some of those golden paints really do have a velvety feel to them. Velvety, all. yes. Suede. Yes. Suede feel to them. So then I, here, here's another one. This is when I was just doing the black and white, stamping off. But I've started to pay more attention to what's going on with my brayer offs. You've noticed that. But now, <laughs> also, my stamp offs. Because <laughs> I, you know, I had these little jobbers and I was cleaning the stamp off. And I thought, well, you know, I need to just be more purposeful about that. So anyhow, I've got that, and I'm really thinking 
Oh, Alice says, if you love kimono stuff, you've got to watch the new Shogun series. Awesome costumes. Oh, Shogun? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What's that on? I actually on? read that book. I, I I used to do a lot more reading. But that <laughs> I see, Deborah was like, what streaming service is that? <laughs> Where's that? Where, where can you find that? I, I, I'm sure we can Google it and work it out. When your eyes start going, mm -hmm. you just can't read for long periods of time. And even now, I, I get eye fatigue yeah. a, a lot easier. So it's, it's um, yeah. All right, so here's this side. Isn't that beautiful? And it started out like the others, yeah. except for you, you stamped using blue. Right? I was stamped using blue, alizarin, and this yellow here, which is the areolan. Ariolan hue. I real I see. I like this because it's semi transparent. Mm -hmm. Then what I did before it all actually dried, because remember these are all open paints that I'm using here. I came back in and just took some of my washout mixture of my. Mo's giving you purple hearts. This is very Mo like. Like, this is, when Mo thinks of rainbows, because she doesn't really think of rainbows, but this is how they turn out, which is usually this beautiful purple and this. I, I've noticed that in things that she has sent us over the years, that she'll go to that purple place, and she does it so beautifully. Yes, and it's not just purple, but it's deep. Deep, just, yes. Deep wine. Uh-huh. Good, good stuff. Okay, so then you can see it here in places where it's kind of... But what happened was wonderful. It kind of mixed in with the colors that were already on there and made them less, you know, primary. I mean, you can still see in a few spots what, what was happening there. Because <laughs> this really is the co these were the colors here, right here. The alizarin, the... Um, it's, cere blue, it's cerebral, Mo. Blue, green... <laughs> And the yellow. Yes, we have some of that GAC. What GAC? Golden does a fabric medium. GAC 900. I think we have some I of have that. 900. I did an inventory of the, all the paints that uh, we have. And yes, and yeah, right, we're writing store them down helps you remember. Yeah, and we're going to store some of that out in the shop with the, um, with the new machine. Because it's all like climate controlled now. Yeah, and I did discover. I, I want to show you the size of this paint. But we're going to be giving away some of this during the big old 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So, those of you that have come in here. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I might be kind of stashed with Say some. hello. I don't know how many pounds this actually weighs. But it's 32 fluid ounces. Here's what I was thinking about this morning. I think because we're going to. This is. This will be a really cool big old giveaway because we've got a lot of things. I, I've been storing back here in the closet and and then just fun paint stuff and it's going to be a big old celebration. But what we will do so we can give away more is just blanket whomever enters the giveaways will know that they pay shipping. I feel like that's a very fair situation plus it allows us to do more giveaway. Yeah. I think I think that, that that's that's legit. Yeah. Two pounds, Miranda says. Two pounds. Two pounds. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's sixteen ounces in one pound. Okay, so this right, right yeah. here represents two pounds. pounds. Math. And it's heavy body. I've got three of these. There's no. I mean, I don't think in a lifetime you can use three of those. Oh, I don't know. I might get on a real white kick here. That's very highly unlikely. That's not. Well, that's not what my... you need to be painting your pouches now, see, in. See, I've got washers that I can use for the fastener. Hi, Gabby. On this. Now I might have to dig out some other um, sorry ribbons because I don't. The reason I don't want to crochet these is because you use up so much of the. Of the. That's a lot. <laughs> the ribbon, and the reason these are wonderful is because. You can just look at the texture on them. When I crochet, I'm usually using pieces and parts that I don't have enough of one thing. Yeah. But here, you know, I've, I've got, and I have a lot of pieces and parts. So this is, um, 
I, I'm keeping this uh -huh. as is because I, I, I really like it. And I don't know that it's going to be in this wheelhouse. I think I could get it there. And I do have, you know, turquoise. E oh, doesn't that, that looks really pretty. Okay, everybody's game with the, the whole you pay shipping. Awesome. I love that. Guess I was thinking this morning. Like, seriously, I wake up in the morning sometimes with these thoughts. And I was oh, like, I do too. I, this is where I woke up the, the other day with my idea of <laughs> yeah. stamping on to... And it's kind of cool because this, you know, this has bubble wrap embedded in it. You are awesome, Gina. I can't tell you, like, how much that means to us. Seriously, like, that that's what helps everything grow around here. What? Liking, sharing, you yeah. know. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, anyway, I, I've got There's this flight out here, and I, I don't. <laughs> it takes up a lot of real estate, <laughs> quite frankly. So I, I've got to figure out. And it's heavy body. Carla says, this, this print is gorgeous on the big screen. Is it like being kind of in space? I can imagine that it's like, Ooh. Right. Okay, so now I have to decide what I'm going to do to this side. And I don't even think it has to be the same because mm -hmm. it's sort of like the way the other flaps overlap and they're different. So I don't, you know, I'm not saying that that doesn't, but it ha does have to have some relationship. Right. And on this one, I really thought I would have Mariah do uh, magnets. But I don't know. Yeah. I just like the tactile quality of having that different texture material of the wraparounds. I, I yeah. just think, you know, I, I, I don't. Yeah, it's kind of next level. Yeah. This type, these types of purses were called clutches. Oh, see, Carrie says his ideas don't wake him up. They they don't let him go to sleep. Oh. I see. I don't have that. Sometimes, sometimes I I will like you know be like yeah. really reeling about something, but then most of my really good ideas come right before I wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's had time. That's to... what, and it's a good get her out of bed bed thing. Now here's the <laughs> other thing that I thought here. <laughs> it's what gets her out of bed in the morning. Yeah, is because I've got these stamp offs here. I don't, They're white. I don't like this. I don't. I don't like that. Why? I don't know. My my mind just said I don't like that. I mean, I could see why you kind of do, but they need to either connect. But I just. I don't know. That makes me feel a little better. I don't know. Hey, it's your thing, though. I I'm just telling you where my mind was like, mm-mm. Okay, well, um, as always, I, it felt very it, pokey. I will take it. And it felt pokey? felt pokey. Well, that's pointed things. It's triangles for crying out loud. They're pokey. Well, it was accentuating the pokiness. Uh, maybe I want to. I've got a lot of little round things. This could be your danger purse. Yeah. And actually, you know... <laughs> I wasn't doing, a, I wasn't paying a lot of attention. Oh, I need to show you how I do these. You, you, she doesn't ever make just one of one thing. Like, it's, it's always in a little series of somethings. Okay, so here's how I did this. It's really quite brilliant. Oh, yeah, this was the part that I was, like, leading y'all up to earlier. Maybe that's why I put people left or one of are like, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, I need to get rid of this big mama. Okay. And welcome, welcome to those of you that have come in. Do yeah. say hello in the chat so we can say hello back and give those thumbsy upsies if you haven't already. Let me just tell you something about using these as stampers. The, the thicker the acetate, the better your... Also, please keep in mind, this is the tip of the triangle. Yeah. This is not the size that it comes in. you got to cut your triangle. I don't know what happened to the other part. Of that. Which then makes it a... Uh, the other part of that is in one of my things back here. Doesn't that make it a rhombus? Is that the, the shape? Once you cut the tip off of the triangle? Yeah. Rhombus. Okay, so anyhow. <laughs> That's the pouch she keeps her ninja stars in. Yes. <laughs> she, I'm messing with her brain. I'm sorry. Okay, um, get everything out that you used to make that, and then you can describe this is how it was done. All right, I'm going to get rid of my, sorry, silk and my washers because we don't need those right now. Okay, and maybe I should turn off our 
little faces so they can just see the stuff on the screen. Because this, I, there, I can't make this any smaller. Right. And turn and pee off. I, I don't want to mess up my, my sorry silk. And then now I had thought about. There's me. Okay. You know, I've got this, this one which is sort of that color. Okay. Then I've also got this one that's just plain. I, I, I could come in and dye it, whatever color mm -hmm. I want to. But I'm very happy about that plain stuff. I don't know where you got that. Dana, let us know. Yeah, because I, I, I would be interested in purchasing oh, some more. Oh, we don't need any more stuff. Purchasing more of that. In, in. And you need to ship some out to somebody else. You need to do a swap. To get rid of my ribbon? Well, like... I'm not going to get rid of my ribbon. Screw that. We vacuum sealed the chindi rug business. <gasps> No, but it's still here. Oh. But it's in the closet downstairs with the rest of, the, like, the yarn and stuff. Well, now, that's what I need to do my crocheting with. Yeah. But it's down in the closet when you're looking for it. I took it out of that one bag that was basically falling apart anyway. And Izzy had then piled toys on top of it. Well, that's probably why I didn't know where it was. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that kid. <laughs> I know. All right. I, I'm, I'm trying to get my drawer closed. Yeah, see, there's a situation. I rearrange things just ever it's, so slightly, and now it's... It's that thing, yeah, that you just touched. There we go. Smash it all down. All right, where am I here? Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is my this is my palette. She meant that, like, that's where she puts the paint. I don't... I'm not going to use that one, number one, because it's too bad, bad damn big. And you like what's happening with it. And I like what's happening with it. <laughs> And here I've got this. This is a better size. Okay. Because I have to have a little room to brayer off here. Okay. So do you see what's happening here? Yes. It's it's very size matters sensitive. <laughs> yeah. I have a little drink of coffee. Remember, here. they can't see your face. You have to be more animated in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see my face. I got our faces turned off so they could see all of the the plates and everything. So you need to move along. <laughs> you need to fight me. <laughs> right. Okay. I, 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 what I'm doing here is I'm getting all of this off here so that I can have room to maneuver. And I don't know why in the world I even changed my paper because what we're going to do here is going to make a big old mess. How many times does she say that in a stream? Or oh, my God. Okay. So, all right. I've got a little bit more room here. There you go. Fantastic. Enough for my brayer to brayer off here. Do y'all want me to turn our faces back on, or is this good? you like this view? Let me know. Okay. See, it's still not all in there. Alice would like to know when the art starts. <laughs> Fair enough, Alice. Fair enough. We're Love not it. doing. We're not doing butterflies, so you no, no, no need to worry. No, this is okay. And I, this is not. I I can't use my little cover up things because. Hello, not my me. All right. So, what I did was. I really like this one. A lot. The little fingernail thing. Yeah. Stamp. Oh, this is paint dashes. What is it called? Paint dash. Because they're just little paint blobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. So, what you need to do is you get your paint, and I used, I used the carbon black. Yeah. But I'm thinking... Well, on the other side... Okay, so the, the side that you see right here with the black and white, you used carbon yeah. black. Yes. On the other side, the, blo the the colorful part down below, that was the, what blue? And uh, well, actually, it wasn't. It was a mixture of carbon, uh -huh. carbon black and the manganese. Oh, really? Yeah. And it went blue? Like that? Yeah. Dirty blue. Really? Yeah. Well... I'm not, I'm not just, listening. I don't, yeah, I mean, I'm just on Dixie here that, but, but see what you're not seeing is you're not seeing all the smushing around that I did and everything. Right. So that, you know. If altered. I don't see it on camera, I don't know to trust it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that the information is questionable. Valid. <laughs> Valid. 
Valid. <laughs> Valid observation. Okay. So, I do have squares there, and I don't have any squares up here on this one. So there you that, go. That could be what I, I really focus on, is getting some squares on here rather than the circles. Okay. And I'm using the little, and I like the little square. Um, I think you also cut that one up. Yeah. The, this doesn't come in the set. No. I think, did you cut the big square into little squares? Or maybe. Maybe this was when we did, we cut up the 12 by 12. Oh, it could be some pieces off of that. Is yeah. it fatter than the other? Yeah. Yeah, it, then it, it is. See? So that's a piece that came from whenever we did the big cut up. There's like, because there was that long strip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. We've worked, forth. we've worked through that. Work through that. Paint gray. No, I don't want paint gray. Bone black. I think what I want. Uh, I need to just, I need to get some black on here. Though. Yes, Rose. They are made from the Amazon packaging that that is sent the crap the brown craft ones yeah you yeah I, I i try to save those more i throw some away i love these i like them way better than the plasticky ones yeah because these work and this actually was the other part of my uh stuff. i will make sure that i keep those for you going forward they're really wonderful versus the plasticky yeah, ones the, yeah the plastic ones you can recycle because i I've tried working with them. I just, um... They're really uh, they're, best for people that know how to sew and can, like, probably just use them as, like, an inner fluffy kind of thing. Fluffy, puffy bit. Or yeah. you can glue on top of them, but, again, that's just tricky because it doesn't always stick. It doesn't always stick. Okay, this is wonderful because this is heavy body. And I really, you know, that is important. And I'm trying to get, make interesting marks with my <laughs> leftover paint. Tricky decision. Uh, so one of the other things, I don't know if she said this or not, but you want to make sure that you are using either at adding a retarder to your paint or using an open paint for this stamping technique because that will just make you feel better about life because things will, if it dries too quickly, you really can't, it, it, it causes more issue. See that? I know it's just a little tiny strip over there, but. Yeah, okay, so. There's one thing that you get from it. One thing you get from it. Basically inking up your stamp with the okay, acrylic I, I paint. I do my. Little gel plate stampy business to stamp. And you have to understand this surface that I'm stamping onto, this, it, it, it's, it's not. Bumpy. It's bumpy. It's bumpy, it's not even, so I'm not getting a Oh, well, that's good. All right. So, I can stamp this over here and keep doing that. Or, I can take and just do my, put it down in the. Now, if you don't have these little gel plates, here's another thought. And, um, you know, Carrie mentioned this to me the other day. I was like, oh, that would actually work well for that, too. But you can um, mask off parts of your stamp. He suggested using... Um, post-it notes now it's probably gonna you'll probably have a little bit more of like where it, it seeps under but um, I think you can still get the same effect so if you don't have the little gel plate stampy things that would certainly be a way to get shapes created with yeah. your larger stamps by utilizing a post-it note and thank you Carrie for that suggestion the other day You can see how that works. To do some on I know, Carrie. It just took her a minute. What? Okay. Oh, you're so you're doing kind of the reverse where you're trying to get the stamp to mm -hmm. pick it up. There you go. So you can either ink your stamp and then you get more of just the actual stamp thing, or you can see it. You can just right. 
And you can see it better on a, let me just get a piece of paper here. Yes. Because this is, you know, this is how I, I started this process, all right. Okay, so I'm going to smooth out my paint here and put some on my And remember that still had some full coverage on the little plate. Now this one probably has less. And now you're getting more of just the stamp. Very cool. Isn't it? I, I mean, I, I think it's just, I, I think it's, it's wonderful. And the other, Yes, you could stamp through a stencil with a large aperture or orifice. decide you know and and you can over here on my plate I've got some areas that are have more paint on them than others Isabel says this technique is called kiss stamping oh and there you go and I think it's so cool because you can get such different results depending <laughs> on That's funny, Sherry. and then when I get finished with my, and I want to have something happening over here, I just, I'm going to turn the air off. It's cold. Uh, I was feeling pretty good. How are you? Okay. Maybe I'll put on a jacket or something. Oh, I love that. And look at this cool print that you get. All right. Now, this needs to be taken away and scrubbed, Mariah, okay. if you don't mind doing that. Well, I'm going to turn your face cam back on so they can, you know, enjoy you. Okay. How about that? I mean. Oh, why do I do that? Wasn't that fun? I swear to God, I'm just going to I thought this that. was fun. I there thought this was a really cool way of oh. using your stamps and using your gel plates, your different gel plates in a little bit different way. And look at this wonderful brayer off that I've got over here. Because now I can come back in and do some, uh, get it off the thing, my fumbly fingers. I think it looks very, uh, again, Asian for, for whatever reason, I'm not sure. This um, here, I think we can use for on, on the, cut out some of these, leave some white around them, glue them down here, so that I've got some white down here, and then I'm going to try to get some of this other color going on up above. Okay, don't need that. Might need that. Alrighty. put away. I'm going to put these away because I don't want to get stuff on them unintentionally. I would like for my stuff on them to be intentional. Now, here's one thing I will tell you about this stuff. The reason you see these little spotty things is because it's sandwiched in there. It has the, the bubble wrap is inside of there. And it's kind of hard on those edges to keep that together. And, and when I get all finished, I'll just come back with Mariah's little small nozzle and squeeze some glue in there and make sure that that is sealed up. I'm not concerned about that right now. We've got other things to do that are more pressing. Okay, I think this is looking really cool, this first layer here. 
So the next thing I would like to do is take some of, I don't know, maybe just decide on a color here. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just leaning towards either the purple or the yellow. Let's just go with the yellow. Okay. And we can always go over it. That's true. And we could do a little washy yellow and then maybe some purple over here. I think that would be a good idea. And then maybe some of the kind of bronzy color there. Yeah. Take three swatches here. Swipes through. And I'm going to muffs up my paper, and I'm really upset about that, but I don't know what well, else Here, you to want to use my... Do. I don't think it's big enough. Mm. It's not going to be big enough. Okay. Well, you well, should well, just... That's okay. It's just paper. I'll use it for something else. Yeah. Okay. Now, what did I do with my favorite pooty brush here? Okay. I really, I, I like this one, number one, it's fat, and number two, I can cover a lot of area. So we know we're going to use the purple, the yellow, mm -hmm. and then we're going to use the sort of reddish, reddish bronze. Yeah. I think that's going to be good. Okay. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the yellow here because then I can bring it in here yes. and bring it in here. Mm -hmm. Everybody agree with that? Yep. That seemed like a logical approach. Uh, I think so. I like it. This is why you gesso. That's, that's the yellow you used before? Uh, no, it, it's not. And I, I, as soon very as bright. I put it down there, I was like, <laughs> ruh, ruh. holy crap. That's, oh, the, that's the neon yellow. That's the neon yellow. The, the yellow that I put down was the aerolean, but it's... it's um, Open. Open. We don't have that kind of time. Don't have that kind of time. But, like I said, we can go over it again with something yeah, else. It's not the end of the world here. It's really hard for me to see the edge of this because it's white on white. Yeah. And we're getting a little bit, see, of the black is mush yeah. mushing off because it wasn't... Best to let these things dry. But be remember, those are open paints. And the, even though that they were very thin, it takes a while for that stuff to dry. I just pulled in a little bit of water, and you notice I'm kind of taking care of the poopy yellow here with the, I don't want to hit those black spots too terribly. Ah. Yep. Beep, burp, beep, burp, burp. Oh yeah, you're blobbing out there in the middle. That's all right. It's just, you know, it's yeah. okay. Maybe it'll help that yellow. It's looking the right color in the middle. <laughs> yeah. This here brush is very fancy. You can usually find it at any um, hardware store for about 99 cents. Right? And that's a cheapie? Yeah. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's a very cheapie. I'm trying to not rub so much on the spots that are I yes. know going to be a little. And that would be the squares. Cheapy brushes for texture. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, Devin would like to know what purple that was. It's just the wash out of the dioxazine. Which it pretty much is. You haven't really... Yeah, I don't... Uh, this, is, this is pretty true, too. Um, yeah, that one has not been altered much. Not a whole lot. 
Now, that's looking a little wimpy compared to the other, but we're going to put this over here. It needs to dry. And allow it to... Um, Things are getting smushy. It's getting smushy, but we've got another one we can work on while we're doing... While it's... It's um, dry. <laughs> Because we're not through with it yet, folks. Okay, I didn't do too bad there. No. I mean, considering, considering it was an incredibly messy process. And this is going to be incredibly <laughs> messy also. Okay. So what we decided here is we're going to use a blue. And I am thinking... We lost some people during that whole <laughs> stamping business. I guess they were like, Meh. It was stressing them out. I don't know. But maybe it was the fact that they couldn't see our faces any longer. Mm. I'm sure that that's what it was. They were real sad about yeah. that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so look, this fits perfectly <laughs> in the frame here. That that I, I'm thinking that could have been part of it. I'm just going to grab some. Hey, our tried and true are always here. Uh -uh. It's just funny. I can always see, like, you know, because I watch the numbers over here. It, it's interesting. All right. We're going to go with the anthroquinone. Aww. Yes. I think that's a good call. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some out here. I'm going to get my use my wet brush, but I need to get a paper towel down here to kind of sop off the... So Hi, Shelly. It's not totally... I want, I want the brush to be damp, but I don't want it to be soppy. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a it's a spiritual thing Darcy oh this feels a little scary but I'm, I'm, I'm trusting your process <laughs> hey it's just paint and paper uh -huh. nothing ventured nothing gained Exactly, Rhonda, exactly. I feel like you should dab a little bit here and there, but, you know, I'm a dabber. Feels like there's a pool in the middle. I know you're appreciating all the help that I'm giving. Absolutely. That may not have been the answer, but I don't know. Well, I think what's happening here <laughs> that I'm liking is that suddenly... Yeah. And it's going to lighten up as it dries. Even though it, it is kind of greenish. Now, you got a line there at the top into your flap. Yeah, there you go. Blend it in. Got to blend it. Oh, Darcy says dab with a plastic grocery bag. Well, I could, but I... I, yeah. I think she's dabbed it. I, I, it's done I, been dabbed. I done dabbed. <laughs> I should have read that earlier. Okay, I think we're going to have to let that sit for a bit. I, that is a very wise decision. Um, I, I don't know that we can come back. I, I always leave these little hanger-oners for Mariah to trim because she's so good at it. Did you hear that? Okay, well, let that set a bit. I'm really, I'm, I'm liking that a lot. Okay, now what's next? Well, I don't know. I just, I don't like this. I've already got some blue out here. Well, that's, um, that, that's a decision. Hi, Gretchen. Oh, 
waiting for those of you that have come in do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back give those thumbsy upsies if you haven't be sure to come back leave comments do all that business if you see the live chat and you are able to chat that means we are in the live stream if you do not have access to it that means that it is in replay we would love it if you'd leave us a comment let us know that you're watching what you liked what you you know what you liked yeah <laughs> A little dry brushing hither and yon. This is see personally like watching these steps sort of stresses me out a little bit. But this is the type of stuff she does all day. She just tweaks a little bit here and there and puts that off to the side and maybe lets that thing dry and moves on to that. And this is why there are multiples of things as well. Because just working on one thing, unless it's colored pencil and she's at that stage. <laughs> <laughs> does not you know keep her engaged <laughs> no it doesn't I, I, I'm, I have a low threshold for boredom she, but not so much to where that she doesn't create projects so that way she doesn't have to just you know clean whereas I enjoy the cleaning part I am thoroughly enjoying what is happening around our house well I'm thoroughly enjoying this that is better this color over this other I, I just think it's yes marvelous I, I don't Oh, yes. Thank you, Darcy. And y'all remember Carrie's interview tomorrow morning. We're going to do a little test thing I, I after. thought it was today. And she's like, aren't we doing that today? I'm like, no. It's tomorrow. I, and I was all like, well, you know, I don't really have all that much to do. I, I guess I could manufacture things to do like this. Oh, was this manufactured? Yeah, I, I, I wasn't planning on doing any of this online. Well, you know, I can, um, although I'm not really feeling it at this point. It's kind of like... Um, cause you got 45 minutes. I kind of wanted to. So you gotta keep it, keep it that going. That was kind of I was going to work on that my project. That was kind of gobby there. You understand gobby? Gobby. So you just have, you have a, 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 a tissue of paper towel in one hand and, oh, I love that neutralized orange there. God, that's great. I couldn't have manufactured that color and been any happier with it. Darcy, the answer is 11 to 12. <laughs> She'll know what I'm talking about. Hey, Jeanette. Is that Jeanette? Oh, there we go. Oh, Lynn, Lynn says I can come and um, help clean and reorganize her studio any, at any point in time. I don't like well, working on other people's stuff because I don't really know what their feelings and, you know, because... I she doesn't be... mind doing it to mine. Well, that's because I can work through it emotionally with her. I need to know where you're at in life. like, <laughs> And that's hard. I, I would not be able to do that as a paid job. like, Because people and their things, it, it, it ain't as easy as just, oh, let's clean up. Mm -mm. Okay, what do you think? I'm, I'm thinking this is really... Quite nice. I want to get a, take a, a remove a little bit more. Oh, Gretchen says yes. In her work, jumping from project to project is called RRS. It is the re, ricochet rabbit syndrome. Is it ricochet? Ricochet. Ricochet. What does that mean? Is that how you spell ricochet? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you spell Rica. Rica. Ricochet rabbit. Sometimes there are words that I, I know the word, but I don't know that that's how you spell it. <laughs> I think that's where my baby's at in life, too. <laughs> she knows the okay, word. I, I'm just going to leave this because I really like it. I don't know if I'm going to like it when it's dry. Because that is one of the things that... When oh, you're... Umbro shorts. My brother was really into those because he played tennis. and That was kind of the thing. All right, this is not truly 100% dry. You don't, I don't think you want to be messing with that quite yet. Well, of course you wouldn't. Well, we put the heat gun on it. But I do, and I even like that the guy went over there. I love this kind of mossy. Do you remember a, a cartoon character named Ricochet Rabbit? Yeah, I do. It's just boinging around all over the place. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> I don't know how much boinging she does, but. 
There's a lot of I, I swiveling. Don't, I, I don't want the yellow to show up there so much. Well, you're making it show up more. This is kind of, this is what you call the Sharpie situation. You need to be committed when using a Sharpie on certain surfaces. Because if you start going back over it, it just wipes it away. It's, a, it's its own worst enemy. Should think about that for a minute. <laughs> Yes. You need to leave it alone. You need to shush it. Okay. Just wanted y'all know that I said that. And that it was on, on... On camera. On camera. Okay. I think I... It's been documented. I, I, I think I've managed to obliterate the yellow. And what color was this? Anthroquinone. Okay. Blue. And I think one of the reasons it works well with the what you're doing right now and with the yellow is that it has a little yellowish to it. No, it actually is not. No? The uh, But I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. The Prussian has, mm. that's what you're thinking about because it does have a yellowish Tinge to it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> the things we learn in chat. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say that, that. That Becky pretty much just hangs out in the... She, she's she part has, of the VIP. <laughs> she has, has a chair with her name stenciled yeah. on it. <laughs> she earned a chair. <laughs> she, says she has a chair with her name embroidered on it. <laughs> hey... That's good stuff. And it didn't go froggy. I mean, it has a green hue to it. But it is not like slappy in the face like froggy ribbit ribbit green. I think it, 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 I, I, I really sort of, I, I really, I like it a yeah. lot. And I like how this now has mm. a relationship to the flap. Yes. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Eddie, when the king is away, <laughs> court turns into, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just to knock back the stark white mm -hmm. just ever so slightly. As I don't think it adds anything to the. The gestures have run amok. All right. Are you ready to do something? Well, 40 minutes doesn't give me a whole heck of a lot, I think, to so you just need to make up some things or make some packet papers because I do need packets. So get your gel plates out and show us what you can do, girl. God, she's so bossy. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know. But, uh, I, I, and if you don't know what stencils to use, I don't know. Look through the pile, see which ones haven't been used. That's my. That's always my my suggestion. Oh, she's just so snarky today. Alrighty, well, um, I just I'm just loving this, and I didn't love it. I wasn't loving on it at all. Yeah. It was too, like. And I think what I'm going to come back is I did a little bit of it. Come back in with that washed out white. Oh, and, and dab add it. a little bit more emphasis to those yeah. le leaves now that I've got this blue on top of it. I think that's going to be the end all. But I just, I love this. Yeah. I just really, really love it a lot. And I don't really have a place to. Oh, here, I'll grab it. Oh, there happens to 
be a flat surface over here because everything's on the floor. <laughs> Kid. <laughs> oh, our Izzy. Oh my gosh. She is just like. Oh, here. Yeah, so we should tell them about. All right, so she's making us take out even all of the artwork, all the photos, everything that was in her room. I mean, it was like. I, as a kid, would have thought that room was pretty cool. And maybe that's what I was recreating in there. Was what I would think was cool. But she wants her art on the wall and her pictures. She doesn't, although she did say she would keep my, my one baby picture in there. Mine. I'm like, you don't want Gigi? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, boy, I'm going to give her such a bad I know. I was going to say that. I was oh. like, I probably shouldn't have told you that. But I was like. No, I said they stay together. All the babies stay together. Oh, no, because Brad wouldn't. He said, you don't want to keep Gigi as a dancer? She says, I can't see her face. So that's why she doesn't like that picture, because she wanted to see your face. You know, it would be hilarious is if we, if you drew it on a little sticky note, your face. <laughs> and put it up there. We're like, so you want to keep it now? Anyway, so we're removing and rearranging all of the artwork around the house in order to accommodate... <laughs> And let me tell you, the shift has been real. Although, like I said, I have my fireplace back. We were able to move one of the batiks over the fireplace. I might even take a picture for y'all. Because it is amazing. And then we're going to... I'm, I'm happy about the, the I am batik too. going over the fireplace. And the wreath had to go outside. Which, I don't think it had been dusted since it went up, which was in... Oh, it needed to be redone anyway. You need to yeah. super... Put that super spray nozzle on and get all the gunk off of it. We'll You're just... okay with that? Oh, and gosh, whatever yeah. makes it through, makes it through. And... Yeah. Hell okay. yeah. Okay. I, I didn't... Cause... I, yeah. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. I think that's cool. I think wreath owners or people that have wreaths, like, that are year-round need... Uh, aren't us because we don't maintain them. <laughs> so, the situation becomes very <laughs> terrible. It okay. would look fantastic in a haunted house. <laughs> what? The in wreath. What is it? The wreath would look fantastic in a haunted house. Yes. It, ha it has a proper covering of spider web <laughs> and dust. <laughs> and it was high enough up on the fireplace. That most, I think mostly people didn't and, and notice. The, light, the lighting's got it. If you turn dim. on the one light, though, you would know. Because oh. then, like, the little, whew, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, it just goes back to my whole thing. Cleaning mm -hmm. makes you ugly. It's making me very now, happy I have and pretty. To look at this wad of papers here. That I'm probably not going to use. Uh, you have a scrap swap. I do. Now, I do not want to get... I want, I want to do something with that. Or I think we just... We need a big box, and you just throw them in there. If they're the ones that for sure... We're going to do like packets for the ten thousand giveaway. I know. I just keep using that stencil. Yeah, I told you to find one that you hadn't used, but that's okay. This is one of the latest and greatest as far as the exclusives. If you don't know what an exclusive is, that means you need to be an Artie Perk member over there on PM Artist Studio. That's our website. That's where all of these lovely stencils and stamps that have been shown so far are available for your purchase. But this particular one requires you to be a paid member of the Loverly or Mucky Muck. All right. Just go through yeah. my pile here. Although I would think that maybe with the seashells, that would probably be a lot easier to just kind of hose off. This has like feathers and things that I'm a little worried that... Oh, I don't think the feathers are probably going to serve. Well, what you can do is just yank them off, but I think they're hot glued on. Yeah, we were pretty, like, adamant about... We would like for it to stay where it is. Uh-huh. We did that before... Because we did that, like, when we moved in here. Because we needed something over the fireplace. Yes. And that's before so she lived here with all of her art as well. So, it, it's, it has been mm -hmm. up for a while. And then Mariah had a baby. And then I had a baby. Okay, here's some Prussian blue. We're going to bust that out because exactly. the observation that Mariah made earlier about the um, the Prussian has some yellow in it, and it does. And you don't really realize it until you make it go really 
Yeah. Light, or mix it in with some water, and then all of a sudden you can start seeing that little. And it's Golden's Prussian does that the most. And I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily know why that is. We want to go visit like, them and have them explain I, things I to us. I prefer the anthroquinone to Prussian, although uh -huh. the aspect of the Prussian that is kind of, you know, it, it's just a warmer blue. Just put it that way. Well, Becky, again, if you were into regular maintenance on a wreath like that, that would be a fantastic option. I'm letting you know that the amount, <laughs> and I'm just, I feel a little weird letting y'all know this about us. I, I hope you don't worry. <laughs> or, like, y'all think I'm very clean. I, I want to be very clean. <laughs> but life has a way of saying, that's not what we're doing right now. It's okay, move along. You'll get to that someday. <laughs> <laughs> and here, here's the thing. You have it, it's called prioritizing. Yeah, you can make yourself crazy trying trying to make everything FP. Is it worth it? Yeah, I I have that ability of knowing that hey. You Nobody didn't. comes to visit us. That's you know interested in our cleanliness. We pretty much eliminated those people from our lives. Or they just understand that that's who we are. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now that's interesting. Look at this. We just discovered something, y'all. Oh. If you want your brayer off to work better, have your paper slightly wet. Ooh, look at you. Dampen your brayer off if you're doing the stencils. Look at that. <laughs> She's very impressed with that. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Plus, I it looks cool. Actually, I think it's cooler that it's in different areas. Yeah. Where's that? Where did the wetness the come from? Crap spray bottle here. Oh, oh it doesn't here. have any water in it. Here. It never does. Here. 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 If you want Is more. Is this the one that. No, the that's llama not. Llama spitter? No, the llama spitter is the clear one. Oh, yeah. Don't. don't yeah. We are surface what areas you mainly just see but if you start like really inspecting things around here oh yeah i i was i, I was um and i was sorry that i touched it because you didn't oh yeah you weren't absolutely sure until you um i had to clean off the uh, this is where like some of my cleaning happened last night that um because i was i was in the gallery room and i had to i moved some things on the buffet and then it made fingerprint marks and i was like well Yep, got to get her done. Okay, so here, here's my observation on this. Your paper needs to be soaked through. You can't just give it a little s spit. Mm. You, you, you've got to pretty much, if you want that to happen. It makes sense. Well, I like that anyway, and I, I will utilize that <laughs> later. Because most of the ones that, you know, you get in your packets, those are ones that um, mm -hmm. have been brayer off. I like this color mixture. That makes me very happy. That'll be in a packet coming to you soon. That will be in a packet. I think that one's done. Yes, don't mess with that. Because I feel like some of those that have the option of being sprayed or... You know, one other layer added to it for you guys that when when you purchase things and we send those little packets, she usually puts kind of one sort of more finished one and then one that has some. I've noticed that you've been doing that. That's very sweet. I do. I go through. Here's what I do. I'll tell you my process. Okay, so I have my little box up here that put mm -hmm. the finished packets in, right? Mm -hmm. And then I have a little place down here where I put my packet because I keep the flap this way. I can put it in and I back them up together. I will have an array here of ones that I've matched up mm -hmm. that I think either go together or they're completely opposite. You and could, but we don't. So we don't. I, it, uh, it, is, it is done with thought and um, and sometimes I'll have a whole batch that I'll just be so irritated with them that they're just so poopy doopy. 
that I, I put them aside and stamp them. Now, I've been doing better here lately. Yeah. No, I've seen some of them going out, and I'm like, I can't believe she's been letting that go. I mean, that would have been a keeper in a box, like, you know, two years ago. It would have, but, you know. She's getting over it. You just get to a point that you're just like, okay. I keep telling her, spread the love. <laughs> and, and then she asks me, well, what are we going to do with it? And I'm like, um, Save yeah. it. Saving it. <laughs> saving it. I'm going to eat it but later. But you know what? I do have some that I'm very oh. happy I did save because yeah. I don't know how I would ever make them again. I haven't made anything like that. Let me show you. Because you even have one at the top of the pile over here that I'm like it's fantastic. Or here. That'll be kind of fun. Oh, this is, look at how wonderful this is. Oh. Proper amount of grunginess. I'm going to hit this with some red a little later after it dries. Yeah. Okay, that, that's good. This one. Okay. Some more yellow down here. Here, this one. And the blue version of this one, which I don't know why it's not with it. It's in the box. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hold it in there. But basically, this one and the blue, because there were two done at about the same time. And they're friends with each other because they were done off of the same plate and parts and pieces. Yes, of, of each one was yeah. a remnant left onto the other one. And I, those are always prints that um, I will probably keep. Yes. All right, we're going to try some of this. This is, I found this in the thing. I thought that they were all the Indian uh, yellow, but they're not. And this green... Uh, I don't particularly care for this green. It isn't, I think you would call it Kelly green. But um, when you mix it with a little bit of something else, mm -hmm. you're going to like it. Okay. Is that a little better? And in this case, we'll be putting it over the top of something else. So you're going to get a... Uh, Yeah. I, I really, you know, I just, I pull this color out because I don't ever use it. Well, and she's not talking as loud because she can hear. Oh, <laughs> so are, are people wondering what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Good, good. And I did mess with the mic, so it could be like not in its normal, normal position. Because I was looking, I was trying to figure out the camera, but I can't see the camera through the mic 100% because I like to, you know, at least make sure it looks level. Hey, did you order me some more deli paper? Uh, no, but I do remember you requ requesting that. I told you I was getting down to a dangerously low level. Okay. I can make that happen. Okay. Don't want to leave this on here too long. Because we know what happens when you do that. Tracy says, thanks for that tip. Pay greens are so tricky. They are. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't love that right now. But um, I, I will here shortly. Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. has just the right amount of red in it. Mm-hmm. This was the flop off I did earlier. I need to go ahead. Listen to this. It was almost two years ago. That 
Deli paper has lasted you two years. Wow! How about that? And I, I use a lot of it. I, I mean, you know, I do use right the same piece over and over and over again because I feel like that that's the environmentally responsible thing to do. Isn't that just rich and lovely? Mm hmm Hi, Ricky. And what's cool is on the same print, you've got your negative and positive. Uh-huh. And I think, no, number one, people would wonder about, well, anybody that knows anything about printing would wonder how that happened. Mm-hmm. That's how it happens. Okay, so we've got, We've got this froggy green, but what's nice about this green is when you put it with the blue, look at how pretty that is. Now, I don't, down here, I'm not lighting this so much. Yeah, a little Christmassy. A little Christmassy. So, how we can work this out, since we like certain areas, we cannot put something there, right? But if we don't like another area, we can put something there that's going to change it. And I think what we want to do. I need to get rid of my mm -hmm. trinket here before it gets stuck to something. Is, um, that was a juicy one. Oh, yeah. Is, um, come in with the red. And we already know what happens when we go over something with the red or the magenta, whatever this is here. I got going. Um, we have. Uh, we tried that in Baltimore, uh, the medical exam paper. I, I mean, it was... I've got some back over yonder here. Uh, you know, I really, you know, if I had that in a place where I could access it... Yeah, more, off the little roller thing. Yeah, more easily. Yeah, it's not, ex it, it, it's not an easily accessible item. I don't know that its difference is that great from the things that we already have other than maybe the price point so like if that's where you're at and purchasing and using things then sure i see look how cool that's looking very nice everybody agree with that mm -hmm. yeah I, you know i think when you go with the magenta rather than the tomato it, it doesn't scream christmas yes it screams much. more like um 1996 and going to college and hunter green and maroon were a big thing <laughs> really yeah because remember all my bedding was that that's true <laughs> i do remember that yeah now. it was like the and, and i think nathan's was as well so even prior to that so you know mid, mid to late 90s I'm telling you what, this washout mixture yeah. is really the best ever. And I've got a bit of a wrinkle going on here on my paper. And I don't, I think this is probably white down here. I don't know how that happened. Mm -hmm. Even though there is a little bit of a wrinkle there. There's a mosquito in here. Oh, well, he, was, he was diving at me earlier. I, I hope that you get it. <sighs> it's that time of year. Okay. Now, I think this this particular one is the same thing. Going over it with one color is just not going to be used to the advantage. Right. Of, um, that's an old, old run, not a new one. So, what are we going to do here? <laughs> That's funny, Tracy. Her, she said her hunter green had ducks on it. Nathan's oh. was plaid. And mine was more like a, a paisley. Yes. It had some paisley accents, I think. Yes, definitely. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I, I do remember that. Okay, I just, I don't yep. know. <laughs> Carla's daughter, 1995. 
Like your green and maroon. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I love it. This is a mix out of shiny stuff and not so shiny stuff. I don't know that it's going to do that much because it's kind of um, thin. But you can see it did do something in places where the paper is still um, thin. Yeah. Okay, I, I think that that's, that's quite nice. I, I'm satisfied with that. Wonderful. What, what do y'all think? I think yep. maybe I need to take a swipe of pink and go down there. I still have a duck lamp. Remember? It was gold and we spray painted it. Ah. Uh, the duck lamp? Yeah. Yeah. Eddie wore those colors in his in his senior photo. He would have been camouflaged in the room. <laughs> he could have been a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that has a great visual. Uh, yes, Eddie, we need that photo uploaded to Maker's Place. And anyone else that wants to. Okay, look at that. I had that, um, remember that silk shirt? No, I shouldn't remember that, but it, it basically had that same look to it too, and it was that maroon and paisley. Oh, I kind of remember that. I think it belonged to me at one point. Probably, but they would get shredded. I mean, they didn't wash oh, well, yeah. and, and you would sweat and, and like cuffs, crazy. Cuffs and the collar would oh, yeah. just, yeah. It was lovely though, mm -hmm. and it was, it was a delight to wear. It was. Other than, you know, it's Texas and it's hot. Yeah, it's Texas uh -huh. and it's hot. Okay, we're just bringing another plate in because I'm going to leave that on there to let. <laughs> and Eddie's, I, I said, Eddie said he, his brother had a maroon silk shirt that he wore all the time. I'm telling you, like, we could just hit the marks. <laughs> Wear those with your Z Cavariccis or what was the other one? Your bows. Your bows. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means. Okay. I did not have senior pictures because I did I'm not just have thinking this is done. I really like this. And I like this one. I mm -hmm. like. I have a whole bunch back here, Mariah. That yeah. What are semi ready? I'm ready for packets. Um, I, I don't have to do anything to this, no. but I'm going to. I graduated early. I did not need a senior year for mental health reasons. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, Mara, Mara chose the GED route. I did. Actually, technically it wasn't even GED. It was through, um, it was through Texas Tech University. It was like more legit than just a GED, GED program. Or at least that's what you told me. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. We're going to use... Because I only needed like two credits. I, I needed what? Like English and math. That's what I remember doing. There might have been a third credit that I had to do, but it was two or three. I don't know. That was, you know, I, I was in the elementary. Your dad, you handled that through the high school. Yes. I didn't. Ha I, I didn't have very much involvement. I didn't really care either way. I just knew she was making us all crazy. And it will be, if Izzy doesn't make you a little bit crazy, there's just some, no justice in the world. Yeah, I think she's already doing payback. Because there was a time when I wrote Mariah's name on a piece of paper and put it in a box and said, Universe, she's all yours. Sometimes it gets like therapy around here. We're good now, for the most part. <laughs> yes, but it was wasn't always that. No, way. there there was some definite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
why am I going with light blue? Well, I, I, I'm really wanting to finish off that too because there's, it, it's driving me crazy. Mm, I'm trying exactly to squeeze it out of there and it's hurting my fingers. Yes. Because it's a metal tube. Did I give you the, I gave you the other tube. Yes, okay. I've got it. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you get it out to the edges if you're wanting to have your whole thing, you know, be pretty. <laughs> Corners get caught. You should know it. There you, you go. You do want to. You want to give it a really good press down in there. But you don't want to get hung up in that corner business. Yeah. And you don't want to be getting a bunch of random paint onto your. Although I do. You could tell this happens. I do that because after yeah. a while, it just, it, it, it's so slick that it doesn't even pick up any right. of it the just, paint anymore. Yeah, the paint. Paint to paint is always hard. Paint to paint is hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we got that. Oh, and the tulips, yes, they are an Artie Perk exclusive. Um, I think they'll be coming up here pretty soon, though. Oh, coming up, they, they're coming up tulips. <laughs> they're turning up tulips, but, you know. Coming. All right, so I'm coming back there and giving this a bit of a rub down because there were some spots that did not get the pattern of the lines. And I, I love this side of the, the Baron. For that. For that purpose. Mm -hmm. So if you want this to happen, you need to tell Anthony because sometimes he puts decorative elements here that are not slicked out. This is slick and shiny. I it think works. they all get... Yeah. I think they all get the thing on top like that, though. Something. I mean, sealed in. Yeah. Because he kind of has to, I think. I don't know if he's still here to answer that. But worth mentioning. Mentioning. Only mentioning. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool looking? Okay. Now we still have some other good stuff here. I'm just going to grab this tissue paper. It's nice and dark. Well, I went to a different school's prom. Showed up, had pictures taken, never got the pictures, which kind of irks me still to this day. Because I was wearing that black velvet dress. It's amazing. I was sad oh, I got this, rid of that dress. This? Izzy would have loved probably wearing that for being some kind of oh, evil yeah. princess right now. Absolutely. I still have that black dress somewhere, though. I need to... I think that's over in storage. Anyway, yeah. So I did all the things that I needed to do. I wasn't that interested. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. I do too. I love velvet. I have a green velvet jacket, and I'm very excited I can wear it again. I like black velvet. I have a lot of black velvet. I have black I, velvet I have, pants. I love them. And they're kind of crushed. Velvet. I have a black velvet skirt. Yes. I wish I could wear it. I can't wear it. It's too little. Anyway. Hey, you know. It's oh, don't talk to me. I already. <laughs> I are, can help you. <laughs> she's into helping me. I'm into helping her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's... I wanted to wear black. My best friend wouldn't let me. She's like, uh-uh. She's like, Mara, you're going to thank me later. I still haven't thanked her. What? I wanted to wear a black wedding dress. I wore black. It was very classy black. Mm. And my Birkenstocks. <laughs> oh, was the dokey. 70s. <laughs> yeah, I know. And not everybody appreciated my... Yeah. Uh, you know, easy ones twice. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. I need to get something down here to get this okay. up. But let's turn it over and ascertain what we need to do. Because we got a lot of really good stuff Hi, that Siri. we, we need to you. leave down there. But I just don't know if it's quite there out in the middle. I like the sides in the red. <laughs> Crap. 
Christy's here. She says, I'm happy you didn't wear black. Mm -hmm. It was a discussion. That's funny. She's been listening. See, that's good. You never know when we're going to talk about you. This is true. This is true. Okay, I need some... Um... Oh, that sounds wonderful, Paula. Her husband has a beautiful navy blue Edwardian coat he wears with jeans and occasional flirty, frilly shirt. I was reading flirty. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, a good. I used to have a fabulous smoking jacket. I don't know what happened to that. Silk one, remember? What color? Well, it was it was cool because it was kind of a purpley, purpley in the maroon, but it had green sort of bands oh. around the sleeves and around the front that. of the jacket. Yeah, I don't remember that. I was th I had the same thought too, Eddie, about uh, the Jerry Seinfeld and the puffy pirate shirt. I don't know this person. I, oh, I, yeah, I let I, I let I Izzy know. wear it. I, I never ever really enjoyed that. I know it's not your humor. It, it, it's not my not my at all. I, I I don't have the same sense of humor as some. Yes, that's true. That is very true. You've I mean, got nine minutes. I do. You know, I do sort of want to. Don't leave All that right, down. Now, you're gonna, what you're... we're going to do is we're going to let that dry. Your stencil. Pull it up. Yep. 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 I mean, I think there's enough paint on it that it's not going to get super sticky, but... Mm. Yeah, now, see. see, look, I had some more wet spots out there where that <laughs> paper towel was. <laughs> Sometimes being in the wet spot's good. Yeah. Ah, that's funny. That's funny. Anyway, so yes, I've been letting Izzy. I had this, um, I had a, a pink bridesmaid's dress that, uh, I still had out, and I let Izzy, she loves it. I had to cut the, the boning out of the bust area, because she's like, Mommy, this isn't going to work, and I was like, that's fine, I'll cut it up, I don't care. Uh, she came and woke me up. But she loves it. And then I let her try on the wedding dress, and she wasn't as into it, because it's not as puffy and fluffy. So she's she's digging that. She's like, but she did think that the wedding dress was very pretty. She liked it. Hundred bucks at Macy's, and I made my own train. Because I wasn't gonna spend I, I a lot her, of money I, on I something. I made her headdress. Her. You did. It's in the drawer in there. I need to. I'm gonna move that stuff downstairs today too. If you want to help, I, um, you know. And any kind of help anybody's willing to give. <laughs> she's not very good at helping because she just wants to like look through things and then she's like, oh, blah 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 blah. I'm like, let's we gotta keep it moving. Yeah, she sucks. She sucks. Okay, we're just gonna mm -hmm. pull this with some cream colored stuff and and um, I really I, I I like this. I need more of this. Mariah is called oh. <laughs> Naples Donker. Donker? Yep. Oh, Naples. Na <laughs> Naples. <laughs> yellow Deep. Donkers is for the, the Deutschers. The do Donkers. Oh, awesome, Margie. Awesome. But it's kind of, it's kind of like, um, a little bit more yellow than uh, the uh, what you call it stuff up there. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, they're enjoying the donker thing. Oh. Yes. Uh, Paula says yes. Donker. Uh, Dutch for dark. Yeah. Deep. Deep. That's what they say. That's what they said. That's what they said. We're going with it. Ooh. Isn't that going to be cool? Yeah. 
Okay, that's going to take a bit. <laughs> I, I think I'm pretty much done for today. I can bring back. Hey, that's okay. We got the, I, the five minutes. I, I'm well, cool just on that. I want, we need to look at the um, progress of the pouch. Pouches. Pouch progress. Pouch progress. Look at this. I think it, it's, it really hasn't changed all that much. I'm happy about that. I, I, the, my favorite part is right there. Yeah. I absolutely love that. And I think this looks cool. Oh, I can't remember that either, Tracy, but yeah. I love it. I, it's well on its way. I mean, this isn't its final. No, but it, it and it is still really limpy and, uh, okay, you want to grab the other one, Mariah, and give it a bit of a, a wiggle in the camera? Here. Yeah, and it's, again, it's still a little damp. But see, this is where I think it, it it really, um, and what I will do is I will take some of my fluid acrylic, and I did a little bit of this, but mm -hmm. you know, by the time I got through gluing it down and everything, it just lost some of its, yeah. I have to make sure you shake this shake this stuff and make sure up. the nose is closed when you do that yeah because it will go all over the place all right find a properly <laughs> little <laughs> brush a lot of here. detox <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is any mm. see i think that's looking very Oh yes, because and the thing is, is as she does that, the blue will still um, seep up through. What do you get? Leach, leach up a, a bit because you can tell. So it's not going to be like white. Some of those little places are still a little bit mm -hmm. on the um, wet side. I don't know what that is that I'm hearing. I don't know if our baby's on the move with her iPad. I'm glad we got that worked out by the end of the stream. So, P's going to continue on with this. I will be back. Um, we'll see tomorrow. Uh, who knows? Carrie and I, we, we love to chit-chat. So, like, 45 minutes is no problemo for us. Um, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, they do it all the time. We, we do. Um, and I always enjoy those conversations so much. So, I am very, very excited about uh, what, what we can, you know, bring to all of y'all. That will be tomorrow morning. 10 a.m. Central Time, so you don't want to miss out on the interview. Do come back, you know, like, subscribe, and do all that business if you are new. Um, and then, you know, share and tell your friends. Do all that. And we'll see you back then. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.